the bong sao exercise one. So once again, bong sao has offensive and defensive capacities. We're going to start off with both, meaning your partner's going to start off slowly kind of throwing hook style circular strikes to your head and you're going to meet it with the bong sao in a defensive slash offensive uh, nature and utilizing either an open palm or a punch, it's up to you, I don't mind. So what that's gonna look like is, from maybe you go here, is that as the punch comes around in a circular type fashion, from your guard, you raise the hand to meet, so you make contact with your forearm, somewhere along the forearm, approximately close to the wrist and the forearm, with their arm, as you maintain forward direction of your wrist and elbow. So that as I rotate and bring the hand into the center, I keep connection and control here as I then reach through to strike, yeah? So nice and slowly. I'm making sure I keep the connection to his center. So I'm to keep, yeah. I keep the focus to his center. My elbow mirrors his elbow. That's an important one. If my elbow is too narrow, he can still come around the outside. My elbow mirrors his elbow so that it stops him from being able to strike through, yeah? So he comes through from my guard. I meet, redirect, strike. Again, meet, redirect, strike. Meet, redirect, I can even step in to strike, yeah? So you can play around with stepping in. Other side, bong sao, strike, yeah? Again, bong sao, strike, yeah? Again, bong sao. So a cool thing about the bong sao as well when you're using it defensively against uh, circular strikes from the outside, then it leaves you in a very good position in that you're right here on the inside. So you can start to really throw offensive movements into, because you're inside their arms, which is inside positions quite important in combat, which is why we really focus on getting our center driving through the center so that we can dominate the inside position, right? So it's not, it's not completely necessary because you can still actually dominate from the outside if your power is good enough. If you connect to the center and you use your body well, you should still be able to actually dominate from the outside gate, but it's just easier here because there's no barrier between your arm and the striking point. Yeah. So, once again, slowly, as he comes through those punches, I make contact. If I need to step, I step. If he's closer and I don't need to step, I won't. With the bomb, maybe do this side so they can see, see better. Bong Sao strike, again, Bong Sao strike, Bong Sao, and it can even be used as a, like a, a Bong Sao palm here, yeah, to the actual eardrum as well, Bong Sao, yeah. so there's, there's a lot of um, offensive capabilities with it. Now, start with that, so Carson's turn, he keeps his guard up, he focuses to me. As the strike comes around from the outside gate, he meets it with the bong sao and strikes. Good. Meets it with the bong sao, strike. Good. Other side. I always suggest you start off slow so you can make sure your mechanics are correct. When you start slow, Carlson can check, okay, how, am I mirroring his elbow? Am I maintaining control of the center? Do I have protection from this line of attack? You, know? you can actually uh, analyze, observe, and get a feeling for whether you're doing the movement correctly when you do slow and you give yourself a chance to recorrect as well. Whereas if you go too fast initially, you may just build up bad habits. Keep going. You may just build up bad habits and not even catch them because you're going too fast. Then once you feel comfortable with that, you can start to increase the pressure. So you can start to just throw faster strikes. So starting stance and guard, facing forward, you can throw a bit faster. You can move around just to start to develop the, the feeling for the bong sound and the reflex for it under more faster, more faster, more dynamic movement. So start off slow and then build it up to faster movement. If you don't have a partner, once again, train with your imaginary friend, just imagine them there throwing strikes at you, kind of shadow boxing, so to speak, or shadow Wing Chun. Um, Additions to that, you can, if you want to, you can also, can you grab a couple of focus mitts, please? Um, 
red. Uh, if you want to and you've got focus mitts, you can actually add to this by putting a strike into it too. So, oh, I'll hold them because I know oh, what I'm trying to do. Okay. Um, so, you can actually provide a, a platform where they can actually hit too. So, for example, Carson has his guard up. Start off slow so you can get the timing of this one right. Then as I come around, he wants to use the bong sao to deflect this and then strike the target. Yeah, so you can do a, a bong sao strike, yeah? Bong sao strike. Yeah, maybe do a punch, it might be easier. Yeah, like that, yeah? Yeah, see, how he's, see how he's using the bong sao as a block and a strike simultaneously, yeah? So just stance on slowly, calmly, yeah? Just showing the technique. Bong sao strike, yeah? So what you'll do is you'll have one hand, if you're the pad holder, coming around the outside to like kind of touch them on the side of the head, and the other hand in front here ready to catch the punch. So, bang, like this. Bang. You can start to speed it up. Make sure you don't get punched in the face like I nearly did. <laughs> Good, and then you can switch sides. Stance on, focus forward. Okay, so there's a few little exercises for you to use your bong sao with uh, as an offensive tool. Offensive and defensive initially, um, but then again, you can, even, you can even just think of it as a strike on its own. So you can practice it just, just so, just like whack. So you can, if you're on your own, you can just do it on a heavy bag. So you can, you know, you can practice your punching with it or even your palm striking with it as well. So you, that's another way you can practice it, but you just have to imagine the defensive ca capacity of it if you're utilizing it in the context of defensive offense. Cool. So any questions, you know where to put them. Share your experiences and observations as well so you can level up and get involved. And I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.